Hello everyone, I am Narc Survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be getting into how to outsmart the narcissist silent treatment. So if that sounds good to you, please hit the thumbs up button down below. Hit subscribe and click on notifications to be notified when I upload a new video. And also, if you would like to book a coaching session with me, just go to my website. It is narcsurvivor.co.uk. When the narcissist is giving you the silent treatment, they will cut communication with you. They will treat you like you don't exist because in their minds, you don't deserve their words. So they may use the silent treatment as a form of punishment. It's meant to inflict pain or loss on you for what they perceive to be your wrongdoing. But it often won't make any sense because rather than it being based on facts or logic, it's based on however they feel. They see their feelings as facts, and their feelings could change at any moment. So you never know where you stand with them. They could love you one minute and hate you the next, and you won't know the reason why. And they often won't even tell you, because it has nothing to do with you and everything to do with them. So even if they told you, there wouldn't be anything you could do to resolve it, because it's not your problem to resolve which is why they often won't even tell you why they're giving you the silent treatment, because they don't have a valid reason. They're always scanning the environment for threats. So it could be because they think you looked at someone in a certain way, or because someone looked at you in a certain way. They're very paranoid and hypervigilant, and they think everything is about them, as though you're doing things deliberately to hurt them or make them jealous because that's what they do. So they assume that you're doing the same thing or that someone else is doing it to hurt them until it gets to a point where people can't even laugh or smile or even communicate with each other because narcissists are even easily offended and upset. So people can't even be themselves when they are around them. And instead they shut themselves off and they may even become a recluse to where they live a solitary life and avoid other people because any little thing could set the narcissist off which is why you may never know why they're giving you the silent treatment and they may not even have a valid reason which is why they can't even communicate with you about it even though in their minds it might make sense so they're battling this internal conflict of shame and envy as their two main emotions and they may experience shame as a sense of being seen as wrong or bad because they perceive you as seeing them negatively since they're no longer communicating with you. But then they may also experience envy because they see that you're getting attention from other people while at the same time they know that they're being discourteous and ill-mannered, which is shameful for a narcissist. And it's why you should never ask them why they're giving you the silent treatment because it might trigger their rage. So instead, you should ask yourself in your mind and question if maybe it's because they misinterpreted something you said or because they're going through something or maybe it's because someone complimented you. But either way, silent treatment is passive aggressive behavior. And it may also include lateness or avoidance. It's a pattern of indirectly expressing negative feelings instead of openly addressing them. Which is why you will notice a disconnect between what they say and what they do, because they're concealing their aggression instead of expressing it indirectly to retain the ability to deny that they intended their behavior aggressively so that it makes it difficult for you to confront them because they want to avoid direct conflict. They do not want to be confronted and if you do confront them, it might make things worse because deep down they already know that they are wrong. They know that they are to blame. Passive aggression results from underlying sadness and insecurity. They engage in passive aggression to regain control, to influence and direct your behavior so that they can feel like they're right. Because narcissists are in denial, so they won't ever admit that they have made a mistake. And instead they will rewrite the past co-direct your present and future and manipulate and gaslight you into submission so that they can feel like they are right. Because narcissists don't care what is right or wrong. 
as long as they can feel like they are right, that is all that matters. And that's what narcissism is. It's blatant denial of truth and reality, because the truth doesn't serve them. Which is why if you do confront them on their silent treatment or passive-aggressive behaviour, they're not going to hear you out, and they're not going to be understanding. And instead, it will trigger a narcissistic injury, which will be followed by narcissistic rage, because the truth frustrates them. Deep down, they know that it's them. They just don't want to be held accountable, because then that would mean that they would have to change, and they don't want to change, because they're quite comfortable with the way things are. They like their disorder, it serves them, which is why they express it indirectly, so that it's difficult for you to confront them on it. And then they can keep doing what they do, at least until they do it to the wrong person, and then they might end up in a lot of trouble. But if they manage to get away unscathed and with minimal consequences, they're just going to keep doing it. As long as they can evade any sort of punishment and accountability, but because of this, it just perpetuates their inability to express themselves in a healthy way because they deny and suppress themselves. They feel a certain way, but they can't express it. So they just give you silence instead. And you may hope that they would change, but when you realize that they've been doing this for such a long time, any hope for change would mean that you're in denial because the only way that anything is going to change is if you change. They're just going to keep doing what they do and while you may not have the power to stop them from giving you the silent treatment, you do have the power to stop the suffering that you may be experiencing. By realizing that begging, pleading, apologizing, and trying to make peace with the narcissist is a waste of time. Because while you may be trying to end the toxic dynamic, that is actually exactly what they want you to do. Because then they can feed off your emotion. But you may not have realized that before. And instead, you may have been trying to make peace because you assume that's what everyone wants. You assume that everyone likes peace. But narcissists are actually allergic to peace, love and happiness. They run from that. And while a normal person might respond well if you apologize to them, because they can recognize that while you may have hurt them, you didn't intend to. Narcissists do not think that way. And instead, if you apologize to them, that just proves to them that they're right. And that doesn't mean that they will give you the opportunity to make amends or to correct the situation. If you apologize to a narcissist, they will use it against you. They will use it as justification to further punish and abuse you. And while they're also extracting power from you, every time that you express regret or ask for forgiveness, because they find power in torturing you, it makes them feel important when they see you suffering. It makes them feel like you need them. And as though you're deteriorating without them. It tells them how amazing they are. And crying, begging or pleading will not affect their emotions. It will not make them feel sad. They won't even pity you. Because they lack empathy. They have an inability to share another person's feelings and experience. So it's not going to have any effect on them. And that's how they're able to continue this behavior for such a long time, which is an unpleasant and painful thing to accept. But it's important to understand that this is what is going on inside of them. Because then you're able to end the pain of their silent, silent treatment instead of wasting your time and energy in trying to end the disagreement. By recognizing that you do not need their validation to know that you're a good person. Because after a certain amount of time, narcissists will treat you like you no longer exist. And their view of you may affect how you see yourself. Which is why you need to rebuild your own self-worth, self-confidence and self-love. And then if they give you the silent treatment again, observe, don't absorb. Recognize that they just want your emotions and they want to cause drama. Because they get off on your pain. And you can't control what another person does, but you can control what you do. You can choose to engage in healthy behaviors that make you feel good about yourself. And by doing that, you are cutting off their supply. Because you're no longer questioning yourself or overthinking about what you could do to stop it. 
or about what they might need. And instead, you're thinking about what will make you feel good. And you may think that if they were to stop giving, the, giving you the silent treatment, then you could feel good. But you can't control what another person does. And trying to do so will only keep you enmeshed with a toxic person. So instead, you need to think about what you need. Because maybe you're experiencing anxiety. Maybe you're depressed. So it might help to go to the gym. Or maybe read a book or do your nails. Just do something to take your mind off where, what they're trying to do to you. Focus on what you need to feel good without thinking that you need another person to feel good because then it will relieve your suffering and then you will begin to feel stronger and more confident by giving yourself time to give yourself what you need. But by doing that, their silent treatment will not last for long because you're no longer giving them what they want. You're no longer giving them your pain and suffering. You're no longer begging. And instead, you're enjoying your own time, which is not what they want you to do because they do not like that. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.